Hello! Today, Road to GH will reveal exciting details of the soap opera General Hospital for the week from September 30th to October 4th, 2024. First, under the immense pressure following John's death, Christina falls into emotional and mental instability. She cannot admit to herself, let alone the police, that she may be involved in his death. Although she refuses to acknowledge her guilt, Christina is still trying to help her mother, Alexis, who is also caught up in the investigation. Her love for her mother drives her actions, but her confusion and inexperience cause her every move to be conflicting and illogical. The police grow increasingly suspicious of Christina, not only because of her inconsistent story, but also due to her unscientific behavior. She has tried every way to erase traces and conceal the truth, but in doing so, Christina has accidentally revealed many flaws. Every action, from fabricating evidence to spreading disinformation, only further convinces the police that she is hiding something. Instead of focusing on protecting herself, Christina makes the mistake of being overly concerned about helping Alexis. Her fear that her mother will face consequences for what happened causes her to act rashly. The more she tries to cover up the truth, the more illogical her behavior becomes, causing both the police and those around her to doubt her true motives. This has pushed her into a spiral of suspicion and pressure, where she seems unable to escape, and her actions only make the situation more complicated. As more clues are uncovered, the question is no longer whether Christina killed John, but whether she can save herself from the current predicament or be drawn deeper into the case she's trying to escape. Second, Jason and Anna anticipated the dangers lurking, but they never expected Sidwell's revenge to come so quickly and fiercely. Sidwell, full of schemes and hatred, will stop at nothing to punish those who have wronged him. He meticulously planned to attack Jason and Anna, aiming to eliminate them both before they could return to Port Charles. Dangerous traps and a tense chase unfolded, pushing both Jason and Anna into a corner, facing death. However, in the nick of time, they were fortunate to receive help from Holly, an old friend and a formidable ally. Holly had discovered Sidwell's plan and intervened just in time using all her skills to help Jason and Anna escape danger. Holly's arrival was not only a lifeline, but also strengthened their bond as the three worked together to confront Sidwell. Thanks to Holly's intelligence and strategy, they managed to navigate deadly traps and turn the tide. Jason and Anna, with Holly's unwavering support, fought bravely and ultimately defeated Sidwell's plan for revenge. The arduous journey ended with their safe return to Port Charles, bringing Lucky with them, who also played a crucial role in the battle. Their return to Port Charles not only marked Jason and Anna's safety, but also deepened their relationship with Holly. The three, along with Lucky, had overcome a major challenge and grown closer than ever, ready to face future difficulties together. Third, Lucky returned to Port Charles deeply emotional and willing to do anything to save his sister Lulu. Upon learning that Lulu needed an urgent liver transplant to survive, Lucky immediately volunteered to donate part of his liver to her. The strong bond between the two siblings drove Lucky to step up and save Lulu, hoping his sacrifice would help her survive the critical condition. However, during the medical examinations, a heartbreaking truth was revealed. Years of excessive drinking had severely damaged Lucky's health, especially his liver. The doctors informed him that his liver was not healthy enough for the transplant. This revelation left Lucky devastated and heartbroken, feeling helpless for being unable to help his sister when she needed him the most. This truth was not only a shock to Lucky but also deeply saddened his loved ones. Everyone knew Lucky had battled alcoholism for years, and now the consequences of that struggle not only impacted his health but also his ability to save Lulu. Despite this setback, Lucky refused to give up. He remained determined to seek other solutions, hoping that there was still a chance to save Lulu. Meanwhile, the doctors continued their search for a suitable liver donor. The family was pushed to the brink of despair, but with love and determination, they held on to hope that a miracle would happen and Lulu could overcome her critical condition. Next, Carly finds herself in a difficult situation as she tries to protect Sonny from the storm surrounding him. She believes the best way to help Sonny is to prove to everyone that they are a perfect, strong, and admirable couple. 
Carly knows that if she can convince those around them that their relationship is solid, it will help Sonny avoid some of the current troubles. However, the biggest problem lies within Carly herself. While trying to build the image of a beautiful couple with Sonny, Carly has been flirting with Brennan, a charming yet dangerous man. Carly seems to be drawn into Brennan's allure without realizing that her actions could land her in trouble. Her interactions and secret relationship with Brennan are not only a threat to her relationship with Sonny, but also have the potential to make the situation far more dangerous. If this affair is exposed, not only will Sonny feel betrayed, but Carly's image as someone who is trying to protect him will be severely damaged. Sonny's enemies will certainly take advantage of this instability to attack them both. Carly now faces a tough choice, continue pursuing the thrill with Brennan, or abandon it to protect Sonny and maintain the perfect couple image she has been building. Finally, Sam's family is in extreme distress as her mother Alexis is in custody for a serious crime that she adamantly denies. Sam, who has always loved and protected her mother, cannot stand by and watch Alexis suffer an unjust fate. With unwavering belief in her mother's innocence, Sam resolves to do whatever it takes to save Alexis, even if it requires sacrificing herself. Sam knows that proving Alexis's innocence requires more than just words. They need concrete evidence. During the investigation, Sam discovered that the gun, a crucial piece of evidence that could exonerate her mother, had been thrown into the river. Sam understood that if she could retrieve the gun, everything would change, and Alexis could be freed from prison. Despite being aware of the dangers of diving into the river, Sam was determined to go through with it, placing her final hope on finding the gun.